Kia ora team, Steve here from Sushi Night Gaming. I am joined by my friend Reiner, and of course, welcome to YouTube. Now, the reason we've gone to YouTube as a platform is because we've just been inundated with a lot of messages from three people, you know who you are, uh, that would just request more video content. And, I thought, and of course, we thought, you know, obviously on our Facebook page, let's move that across to, you know, one platform and you can basically have all the videos at your fingertips. So welcome to YouTube. This is what we're all about. And of course, we're going to bring you some gaming content uh, and some really fun uh, just stories as well. Now, of course, our video today is sponsored by The Army Painter. And now, of course, our friends have sent down a bunch of these. These are the Masterclass brushes, and they are basically the spe spectacular and highly specialized dry brushes that give ultra-realistic results and very smooth coverage, revealing every detail of your miniature with ease. The brushes are versatile and can be used for both large models, terrain, and vehicles as well as any normal size model. The results and effects you can get with these Masterclass dry brushes far surpass that of any normal dry brush. And I can actually attest to that. Now these come in three brushes, obviously you get a large one, a medium one, and a smaller one. Really, really good too if you're using like, you know, dry brushing on those smaller bases as well, right up to the larger, uh, you know, terrain pieces or even models. And of course, I've actually used uh, these dry brushes to paint our amazing Ice Dragon, as you can see here. And this is what we use uh, to basically woo the kids that come in every Sunday to play Dungeons and Dragons uh, as we run them through the Sword Coast adventure in Fandalen. Now, of course, if you want to check out uh, or grab a set of these, uh, pick them up today. Uh, or if you want to know more information, check out www.thearmypainter.com. Now, today's video, I thought we'd just basically touch base with you guys and, and explain where Sushi Night is. What is Sushi Night? How did uh, we come up with the name? And I thought, you know, a bit of a story, eh? So I was actually lying in a hospital bed. I actually had a, a blood clot in my lung and uh, that sort of prompted me to, to think, oh, better make the stream happen, uh, but a bit closer than normal, eh? And, uh, or a bit sooner than later. And um, yeah, basically I wanted to to sort of like and capture because we want to do a bit of retro video gaming and i know that there's a lot of stores in japan that have uh, a really cool funky name you know like super potato or even in uh, america pink gorilla and you know they're all into gaming they have a name that's quite out there but wackadoodle but doesn't really mean much or have a you know a bit of a punch and i thought i wanted something like that that can capture um you know the essence and and give us a bit of a, a character and so I remembered back in the day, you know, we, we, you know, me and the boys used to play games on Tuesday nights and back, back in my apartment. And uh, we actually used to go out and uh, have sushi. It was like sushi night. Uh, we'd go down and get some St. Pierre's. And of course I thought, well, that'd be really cool because it pays homage to, you know, my friends and gaming, uh, you know, when I was in town on Tuesday nights. And I thought, let's put a spin on it. Let's not just have like night as in, you know, night time let's change it to night night of the round table and so that's what i did and so uh I, I came up with this concept of putting a spin on it and then my my good friend doug he actually did some design um and he, he had this like sort of male character in plate armor he had like you know um a big lance and it just didn't really fit eh? and i was kind of thinking you know it's too obvious and i thought you know we've got to sort of spin it up a bit and i was actually on the internet uh looking at you know armor plates and and things like that and and sort of like you know, Japanese, and uh, I came across this this really amazing um, picture, and I'll, I'll just put it up here, and it's of uh, this hoodie, and the hoodie itself has these armor plates, and of course, you know, you put on the hood, and it has the, you know, the, the, the metal part as well, but it's all fabric, and I thought, this is what we've got to have, you know, we've got to have this hoodie, uh, you know, with jeans um, to represent, you know, the night part, and uh, I also thought too, what if we switched it? Uh, and so we went from a like a you know a male character to just a gamer girl, um, and you know one one that loves eating, one that loves gaming, uh, and we put it together. And of course, that's how the name Sushi Night came. And of course, we really wanted to create a character as well. And and uh, I've been watching a lot of anime um, as you do. And um, one of my favorite animes of all time is Harukana Receive, and that's about beach volleyball. You know, everyone's thinking, oh yeah, cool sports. You know not that good but it was actually amazing like if you haven't watched it check it out and um yeah I, I basically you know had a cry it was very emotional and one of the characters resonated to me and um it was actually really really cool and that's uh Kanata Higa 
and she's quite a small, you know, very shy um, sort of girl. And I thought, what if we put Sushi Knight, you know, like, or adapted her um, from that character herself? And so we basically created uh, Sushi Knight herself off this other character, and uh, it all sort of put two and two together. And that's how our mascot uh, icon was born. And so we've done everything from like our first play mats. We, we've got one with sushi. We've got one with gaming controllers. Uh, we've actually added in and done a bit like a, a cosplay with her for flesh and blood. Um, our latest one actually is we were turned into a brute character, which has been really cool as well. So, you know, Ryan, I was pretty happy with that. And uh, it's just been really amazing. And of course, you know, that's, that's how we launched um, Sushi Night to, to everyone. And of course, it's just taken off in the valley and uh we've, we've just been really really humble and uh happy that that you know we've been able to uh, create this amazing space now of course uh what we'll do is coming up is we're going to do a, uh, a bit of a store tour so that's going to be on the cards as well as uh i'm going to talk to you about savage lands which is a uh you know event that we do at sushi night and it's basically brute only where you know you get to come along and play your favorite brute characters in blitz format and uh if you win you actually get to you know have the trophy which is the actual life life-size romping club which is what rhino holds just up here uh, and you get your name engraved on a plaque so we've held one already we've got part two coming so uh, our next video will be around that as well so check that out if you like what you see you know click subscribe uh like Add a comment. Um, you know, we appreciate your support and love everything that um, that we do for our community. So to check out more stories, they're coming soon. Uh, have a great night. Ka kite. Take care. Bye.